Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty's side. Thanks for joining me today. This is a little different. Uh, this is a response video I'm going to be doing. Uh, the YouTube channel is called Tribe of Men, and um, I am subscribed. I like I like what they're doing a lot. It's this guy and this girl. I can't remember their names. I don't know if they've ever said their names, but um, they kind of do response videos. And uh, but I like them. I like what they do. And today I'm going to do my response to his video. So let's get to it. Uh, let me rewind the video here. Uh, I don't know if you can see this here. Let me move it over. But it says hookup culture has damaged men and women. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, jump right into it, huh? Here we go. I don't want anything serious. If somebody gets feelings... We need to end this right now. I've heard that so many times in college. Sure enough, within a month, what are we? They all want to know what we are. I know I said I didn't want to catch feelings. And like if we if one of us did, it'd be a problem. And I would just laugh in their face. And be like, what happened to this so-called, hey, let's not catch feelings. We're just having fun hooking around. Been yeah, there. but, you know, I really like you. Turned out to be a really cool guy. And <laughs> next. And next. I was already in my damage mode. I was filling my black hole up with women. There was no commitment for me. <laughs> And it's unfortunate to say, dude, it took me years to unwind some damage and to get introspective about some demons I was battling. And unfortunately, today, hookup culture is like propagated by that cycle where both people are hurt in some way and then they end up hurting others. That's the sad part. So we're creating a generation of hurt people, man, that start lacking the ability to like romantically connect, emotionally connect and develop like a very deep bond with one another because they're always in a guarded state because... Okay, now I wanted to stop here. So, you know, and now where did all this start? Right? Uh, this started with feminism propagating this hookup culture. Um, feminism taught women that they can have as many partners as men, they're equal to men. Um, and now, now we know that the more partners that they have, the harder it is for them to pair bond. This is one of the biggest, greatest lies that I think feminism has told. They got hurt by countless amount of people before them. And this is men or women. Like men sleeping around, see women as like objects, see them as like, they're so easy. Holy shit, for the, those that are successful, the successful men become disgusted by the amount of success they're having. I remember thinking at one point, dude, it's so twisted. Like uh, it was so effortless to sleep with women that I was like, there's no way I can possibly get in a relationship. I had developed this mentality of like, dude, if I can do this, any other guy can do this. Any other worthy guy can do this, can take my girl. I was worthy. noticing this common theme of, in order to sleep with a woman, it just took three things. The right guy at the right time in the right place. Every single time. I, whether she was I can agree with this because I've been that guy. <laughs> she had a ring on or not. If you were the right guy at the right time in the right place. So right guy, the attraction. Right time, she just got in a fight with her man, her husband. Right place, she's out with her girlfriends at a bar, at a nightclub. When you check all three of those things off, it's going down, dude. Yeah. Um, well, and the thing is, is that MGTOW slash red pill guys know this. We understand the nature of women. Uh, I think this is a lot. I think this is why a lot of guys just decide to check out and go monk mode. Uh, if they're in a relationship with a woman and all, all it takes is these three things to set her off and for her to cheat then like you know a lot of these guys are like what's the point seems like a raw deal you know and i th i think that's i think that's totally reasonable dude every time 100 percent of the time at least those were what, what my experience were in college telling me showing me i was living it i was like holy hell I would bed women and then I would see them. Some of them put their ring on afterwards. I had no idea, dude. No idea. No mark on the ring. Nothing. Not my proudest moments, but they don't tell you these things until the morning after. Well, that's hypergamy for you. <laughs> same, same with my buddy, my roommate, who was just as successful, would be like, dude, you won't believe it. She just told me, don't call her. She'll call me. Puts a mm -hmm. ring on her, calls her boyfriend. 
They have a conversation. She says she's sleeping at a girlfriend's house. I was the other guy on the other side, man. And then I was also that guy in the relationship that got cheated on. I got to see both sides being like the chump who gets cheated on. And he's like madly in love. Thinks he's going to marry. <laughs> now, real quick. <laughs> I've been that guy where she's calling, texting her boyfriend while she's at my place. Um, and this is... This is what a lot of us are trying to espouse. It's just, it's women's nature. Now, I'm not saying that all of them will do it, okay? But I'm just saying that they have the propensity to do so. It's in their nature. Uh, many times they won't act on it, but, I mean, it's it's there. The greatest girl on earth, and that she's so cool. Meanwhile, she's going behind my back doing all this crazy shit. But you don't find out until later. And then I was also the other guy after being broken up with. I turned into like that. I guess you could call it a fuck boy. That's essentially what it was. And I was the guy on the other side seeing the shady stuff women were doing to the men they were in relationships with. Like literally calling him, being like, shh, don't say nothing. And saying they're sleeping the night over at whatever, a friend's house. And then doing God knows what with me the night after. Like a boyfriend. Others were married and wouldn't tell you nothing. It's insane, dude. The like stories I have from escapades with women during a dark time in my life are like some of the most like, talk about being red pilled by experience. This is why I know a bunch of this stuff because I was chasing a black hole and use women to fill it. And mm. dude, you can't learn some of this stuff unless you've lived it. That's I think that's true to a certain extent. Um, but I think the knowledge is really starting to get out there. Um, and a lot of you guys that watch my channel, I think you know this too. Um, you know, all you have to do really is look at any social media platform and you see the hypergamous nature of women on full fucking display with absolutely no shame at all none they flaunt it that's why when i see some of these red pill creators like espousing some of these ideals and what they're telling young men it's just like dude i can tell you've never lived this life because you're telling young men to do x y and z and you don't even know why the men you follow did what they did see now this is this is where i think i start to disagree uh a lot of what these older MGTOW guys are saying is is to warn the younger guys um and most of them will tell you why they did what they did. You know, they they won't keep it a secret. Like I can tell you right now, if a guy is just willy nilly in hookup culture, sleeping around with a bunch of women, that guy's looking for something. I know for a fact. I've been there. All my friends have been there. I can tell you right now from conversations I've had with like men that are worth multi millions, hundred millionaires, all successful types that were single or in somewhat of a relationship that they all crave something more than just the hookup culture, man. The hookup culture is like filling a little temporary hole. They can't seem to find a quote quality woman that they would devote their time to start a family with. Every man has that primal need to start and look after a family we just can't find the quote right woman a woman that you would trust some of it is from you know so from like the broken trauma that we as men have from either childhood or well let's let's stop there for a second okay you know some might be feeling a hole um but some guys just want to have fun and get that release um you know and this is directed at uh, this guy. I, I can't remember his name. Um, but, you know, just because you and your friends are that way doesn't mean every other guy is. Plus, you know, your friends are a reflection of you. So, of course, you're going to have, you know, a bias when it comes to this outlook, uh, I think. Um, and, you know, ne the next part is, like, it is trusting women, but I, I think the other part is not trusting how society treats men, especially when it comes to what a woman says. You know, right now, it's it's trust everything a woman says, whether she's lying or not. You know, hashtag pound me too. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's still in full fucking force.
and it's probably not going to go away even though this kind of shit has been exposed you know i think that's i think that's might be kind of a bigger or a different part of it it's not just that or a prior relationship with a woman like that's the truth some of us don't even get the chance to hook up with women at all. If you're in the bottom, whatever, what is it, 80%? Like the way social media and dating is, like the 80, bottom 80% 80 of men are practically invisible, get no matches. So it's like mm -hmm. telling a guy who's never felt a woman's intimacy that, or I should say, it's really weird to tell a man that's craving so badly a woman's intimacy to not worry about and build, build for yourself. Like build. I don't see, I don't understand how that's weird at all because i mean because honestly you you know the, the dude in this video i you seem to have a misunderstanding of women you know a, a guy can't he cannot get a woman if he is not if he has not built himself up and you know in my you can't build yourself up with a woman with a woman there you know okay a lot of you guys that follow me i know you don't like rich cooper but <laughs> one one of the things he said was women hang out at the finish line and wait for the winners and that's they they do you know men have to build themselves up where women just have to show up take a bath uh maybe put on some makeup and not be so fat and they're automatically at that same level as that man they're born with this advantage they're born with this men have to create it and that's the difference you know and women they don't care women don't care about your struggles you know and it, it in fact it's been proven that it turns them off you know this this just wouldn't work dude yourself a better lifestyle it's like telling a dude that's dying of thirst don't don't worry about water bro we'll get some when we get to town it's like the dude's dying of thirst right here right now he wants water telling him to hey dude self master it build your life up and like they will come is is a hard message to pound in somebody's head that's never had intimacy at all so for i think the water in the desert thing is a bad analogy honestly um and I don't, I don't, I don't understand how you could say that a man building himself up is a negative thing, especially when it comes to relationships. Uh, I mean, wouldn't you want to be in a stable, secure, confident mindset, like a, a stable, secure, confident place if you want to be in a relationship? You know, I mean, I would think so. I think if more people did that, uh, more relationships would work more than they do now because people are codependent and they just jump right into relationships that they probably shouldn't. Well, that's what I think. A portion of the guys that are, quote, going their own way or have had zero success with women, it's hard to get them started even on the journey. And this is why so men prefer to just check out. And Well... But I mean, if a man doesn't want to pursue women and just wants to check out, I mean, who are any of us to tell him uh, that it's wrong or try to convince him otherwise? Why does a man need a woman in his life? You know, why? And don't put in any work to acquire women because it's like it's not guaranteed to get a woman to even sleep with you even after you acquire all these things. Right. And then. Well, okay, I'm going to stop there again. Why does a man need to acquire a woman? You know, you seem to think that that that's a man's purpose <laughs> is to get into a relationship with with a woman. That's that's an interesting thought. It's an interesting premise. For somebody that's lived their experience, they think like it's insurmountable anyways because they're that's the lens in which they view the world. Every single experience they've ever had up until then tells them that women will not be interested in them no matter what. Doesn't matter. You are invisible. And how do you how do you like spur this kind of man who's re reality tells them one thing, but you know on the other side of that door what's possible because Well, I'm going to stop there. 
Well, to some men, that's the it's the flat out truth. Sorry if you guys can hear my my uh, roommate's dog barking. Um, now I believe that any man could raise himself up uh, to be the best that he that he can be because he's a man and we're capable of anything. But if he believes it's insurmountable, then what's the point? And why is it not reasonable to just check out? You know, and I'm talking about women. I'm not talking about life, you know, raising himself up. You mentioned, you, you said it's about women. It's why does it have to be about that? I just don't understand. Crossed it. How do you explain to that guy like, hey, dude, I don't know how to get you motivated to do some of this stuff, but I'm telling you your problem can be solved if you do these things. Somehow you have to take a leap of faith and just trust me on this. So I want. I mean, that's a good question. You know, and I don't, I don't know the answer to that. You know, every, every man, every guy has his own path to take and to create. And, you know, I don't think it's up to any of us to tell him what to do. Um, if he asks for guidance and you want to give it, you know, if you want to offer it up, then yeah, sure. I want to do not? some more videos in the future regarding like, how do you build this lifestyle and like really internalize your happiness and start magnetizing people to you, to your life, instead of you trying to draw them in with like a bait, you know, you don't need to learn game, dude. You don't need to like say the magic words to open up the meat sleeve. You don't have to <laughs> be some mega pimp slayer that slick with the tongue and can get women to drop their panties off the you know drop of a hat. You don't need a lot of that stuff, man. You know, this is true, and I think uh, this is another point that a lot of the younger guys are starting to see as well. You know, MGTOW slash Red Pill guys have, they've always said, fuck game. They've always said, fuck game. You know, and I don't think you have a solid understanding I'm talking to, again to the guy in this video. I don't think he has a solid understanding of MGTOW slash Red Pill. I mean, hell, I don't even really, you know, it. <laughs> am I going my own way and doing my own thing? Yeah, but there's a lot to it. There's a lot more to it. But, you know, I see, I seem to understand the concept where this, where you don't. It really doesn't seem like it. And a lot of the demands women have, here's what like a lot of men don't know. The, most of the demands women have aren't even real. That little rule yeah. of she makes uh, like rules for betas and breaks them for alphas, it's, it's actually very true. And it's not even an alpha beta thing. It's just interest. When a woman is genuinely interested in you, attracted to you and likes you, um, most of her rules go out the window. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Those rules are for men to jump hoops on to prove that they may be in the, you know, running for a potential sexual exit paid or a relationship. But when you live a truly authentic life and you may come across some people, like say you like motorcycles, you join a motorcycle club, whatever, dude, you happen to meet a chick there that's into motorcycles too. And you guys share a genuine hobby of riding motorcycles. And then that genuine hobby turns into like, oh my God, we are hanging out and you know, some attraction was built there or we were always, there was some energy in the air between us and then it, was completely natural guys end up hooking up, maybe getting a relationship, whatever, instead of going into somewhere like a night. Stop right. Really, really quick right there. Uh, amen to all that. Honestly, you know, it's, you know, I'm going to take a quote from Patrice, Patrice O'Neill here and say, um, you know, what women have to do grow on you, grow on you, you know, and in this particular scenario that he's talking about, exactly what happened they got to meet each other more organically instead of over an app or at a bar you know at a nightclub or whatever crap um you're actually meeting them and she's meeting you and it's not fake it's not whatever you're posting up on the internet you know or any of that kind of crap so yeah i can agree with that nightclub where it's or a dating app where it's strictly physical and then you yeah, gotta go. go in and say the right thing do mm -hmm. the right thing yeah. twirl with her dance with her whatever <laughs>
get her to want to sleep with you. You have to qualify yourself instead of naturally being qualified just by the life you lead. There's yeah. A- no, and fuck all that. <laughs> fuck trying to qualify yourself. And see, he's he's starting to get there. He's starting to. I don't know. I, he 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 starts to get there, but then he, I think he just kind of starts missing the point there eventually. But. All right, let's finish things up. like I'm telling you, man, there's a lot men can do. It's just it's human nature that you want it now. I don't want to put in the work. I don't want to build myself into another person because when people tell you things like just be you, I know it's so funny to hear that, like, just be you. And that funny meme of Chad saying, just be yourself. And then you got like the incel looking dude laughing like, yeah, be six, three, Jack, blah, blah, blah. Sure, dude, I'll be myself. I'm ugly as hell, short, pimply face, whatever. The truth is you do want to be yourself. It's just the current self you are is not good enough. We need to destroy that and build something better. That's the conversation men don't have. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Um, I completely disagree with that because I see those conversations going on all the time in MGTOW Red Pill groups. Uh, We are a very, very, we are very supportive of one another. Uh, I just... And this is talking to this guy again. I just, I, I really think you have a fundamental misunderstanding of MGTOW, uh, which to be honest, a lot of people do. They really do. Now I want to bring up this giga Chad thing. So like the MGTOW or red pill giga Chad and the MGTOW incel is you like to call them. See in, in my head, they see themselves as equals because they recognize the, the, the brotherhood and the under, and they understand the nature of the world they live in and the women that they have to, that they're surrounded with. See the giga Chad knows that he's only getting women initially because of his looks height, six pack, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, you know, the true MGTOW red pill guy, uh, or to, to that guy, um, female attention means nothing to him. Um, because he's, he's transcended above that. Now I'm starting to sound all woo woo or whatever, but you know what I mean? Like that shit just, it doesn't, it it's not on his radar it doesn't it's not there it doesn't matter you know and when that giga chad meets the incel type as you like to say um the giga chad guy knows that that guy the other guy knows the same thing and lives by the same understanding this is above any of this shit this is why MGTOW and Red Pill is so great because you can have the Giga Chat guy and you can have the scrawny, ugly, pimply face guy, but if they are both into that MGTOW Red Pill life, there's there's it's above all that. And they're equals to each other and they understand and they support one another. So that's uh, that's another thing where I think this guy just has a complete misunderstanding. Let's finish because it up. Your current self, if you're not getting any women, is simply not interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay. I think he just oh, says. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you haven't subbed, yeah. please. Well, my last uh, my last uh, comment on this video is who gives a shit what a woman thinks? We do not care. There you go. All right, guys. Um, that's my response to this video. Let me know what you think. Um, Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.